today's session we are going to see about transistor biasing which is uh, from module 1 of analog and digital electronics 18 cs 33 okay so before going on to the biasing imagine that you are uh, purchasing a car okay so before purchasing uh, first you will make sure that the initial condition of the car is uh, proper such as the brake accelerator gear clutch everything is working properly okay you will fix the initial condition just similar to that in any electronic devices you make sure that the first step is that you will make sure that the initial conditions are fixed properly okay so uh, fixing the dc voltage or current applied to the terminal of an electronic component for proper operating condition is called as biasing just like that you are fixing the initial condition in the car so fixing the electronic components with a proper or fixed dc voltage or current for proper operating condition is called as biasing okay so what is meant by transistor biasing transistor biasing is the process of setting a dc operating voltage or current to a correct level for proper amplification okay so before uh, understanding the transistor biasing you should know what uh, what is a transistor you are going to study okay so we are going to deal with npn transistor so what is meant by n p n transistor bipolar transistor right so you here you will be having two n type semiconductor uh, sandwiched in between one p type semiconductor okay so this is your npn transistor vjt transistor so what is the symbol of your npn transistor this is your n n stands for negative right p n so this arrow mark signifies the flow of current n p n it is the arrow mark you can uh, keep in your memory not pointing towards okay p n p means it is pointing towards the arrow mark will be opposite so let me draw the diagram of your p n p so this will be your p n p transistor okay so this is your n p n transistor okay so normally you will be using three different types of configuration what are the three different types of con configuration one is your common base common collector and common emitter right so here you will be having this terminal as your emitter base and collector okay so based on the three terminals you will be uh, using either common base configuration common collector configuration or common emitter configuration so so in this biasing you are going to use the most commonly used configuration that is called as your CE configuration okay hope you are clear with your transistor now okay now transistor biasing is a process by which you are setting a proper DC operating voltage or current so why is it necessary you know that the transistor works in three different regions right so when you take the for CE configuration if you take the output characteristics so what is the output characteristics of ce configuration ce configuration means emitter terminal will be grounded okay now your base will be your input and collector will be your output okay so what is your output characteristics the graph drawn between your output parameters so output parameter is your output current and your output voltage vce keeping what as constant keeping ib as constant so this is going to be your input current input current is nothing but your ib keeping ib as constant so you will be having small micro ampere uh, 10 20 goes on keeping ib as constant you are going to vary your output parameter so it will work in three different conditions so what are the different conditions so the first is called as your cutoff region this is your saturation and active region so the middle region is called as your active region so the transistor will work as an amplifier in the active region whereas the transistor will be acting as a switch either in the two modes cutoff or your saturation so in cutoff and saturation mode your transistor will act as switch and in the active region your transistor will act as your amplifier now before applying your ac signal you have to fix the operating point to the middle of the active region right that is called as q point or qsen point this is the reason why we go for biasing the operating point should be always fixed in the active region so if the operating point is shifting towards your cutoff or saturation 
it will not be working as an amplifier so this is the reason why we are going for the different types of biasing okay now the three different types of biasing what you are going to study is called as your fixed bias collector to base bias and voltage divider bias so what is the difference between these three bias so fixed bias is the simplest circuit so it uses only simple components small number of components such that you will be using only a fixed resistor uh, in the base that is the configuration of your fixed bias configuration the disadvantage is that it is uh, st not stable the operating point will not be stable because the ic does not remain constant that is it has the worst stability the stability decreases with the increase in temperature and your current gain so it is prone to thermal runaway these are some of the important uh, features of your fixed bias condition next one certain improvisation of your fixed bias is called as your collector to base bias condition it is also called as feedback bias configuration it improves the stability a little bit okay because due to the negative feedback because of the negative feedback present again um there is a instability in your voltage gain okay next the last type is which is commonly used uh, biasing is called as your voltage divider biasing in the case of voltage divider biasing uh, it consists of uh, two voltage divider uh, resistor r1 and r2 across the input okay it is the most commonly used biasing and uh, it has high stability the voltage divider biasing is also called by another name voltage divider with emitter bias because it comes with a emitter resistance okay across the emitter side now let us see the different circuit so if i make a table fixed bias collected to base bias and the last one will be your voltage divider bias these are the three uh, different types of biasing as per your syllabus voltage divider biasing okay so if we can make the table so what is meant by fixed bias so first what you have to do is you have to draw the transistor so it is npn right so n p n which is nothing but what are these terminals this will be your emitter input will be your base output will be your collector right now you are taking what type of configuration common emitter configuration so emitter will be grounded okay now across the collector you have your collector resistance rc so in the case of fixed bias resistor you will be giving a fixed resistor rb the rb value is fixed that's why it is called as fixed bias resistor fixed bias or it is called by another name base bias resistor okay so rb and you have a common vcc <clears throat> so this is your diagram of your fixed bias circuit so the voltage across the output will be equal to vc the voltage across the input will be equal to vbe okay so th this is your configuration of your fixed bias now certain improvisation a little bit improvisation to this will be your collector to base bias so here you have applied the rb to vcc right the collector to base bias you are just changing this rb rb instead of connecting it to your vcc now your supply will be in this collector side so vce will be your supply to your rb so let me draw it once again collector to base bias your uh, emitter will be grounded so it is a, again an n p n transistor so across the collector you have your collector resistance rc to which you are connecting your vcc now see the difference here now rb is taken from the collector okay so this will be your improvisation or your modified circuit so uh, you will be getting here what what is this uh, point your rb will be fed by instead of vcc now your voltage here will be vce okay so the input voltage will be vbe now what is your current flowing what will be the current flowing here so here i forgot to mention the current here the current flowing will be ib the current flowing across rc will be ic in this case what will be your current flowing it will be the total current that is your current ib as well as your current ic so what will be your uh, total current here 
the current will be IB plus IC. That will be the current flowing from your ACC. Okay. So, so this is your diagram of your IB. So this will be your IB. Plus to minus. Plus to minus. Always the current will flow from positive to negative. So this is your diagram for your collector to base bias configuration. The next last type is called as your voltage divider biasing. So the voltage divider biasing comes with an emitter resistor. It is also given by another name voltage divider with emitter bias. With emitter bias. Okay. So across the emitter you have your resistor RE which is used for stability. Okay. So across the RC you have your Sorry, across the collector you have your collector resistance RC. Now, across the input, the name signifies it is a voltage division. So, across the input, you will be having a voltage divider circuit R1 and R2. So, this will be your R1, this will be your R2. So, this is your ground, which, is, which will be going to your common ground and you will be applying your DC supply voltage, that is your VCC. So this will be your diagram of your voltage divider biasing. So here you will be having your current IC. Here your current I1. Okay. So this will be plus to minus VBE. This will be plus to minus VCE. So these are the three different configurations. The basic diagrams of your three different types of biasing. So this VCC will be fixed value. Now how will you have to um, fix your operating point? Suppose if VCC is equal to 12 volt, okay. Now, once you apply 12 volt, what is the changes happening to your circuit so that the operating point will be always fixed to the center of the active region. So, this is what you are going to analyze, analyze. okay. So, by doing the DC analysis, we can ensure that the operating point is fixed to the um, center point in the active region, okay. So we will see the DC analysis in the next video. So the notes is available in the telegram channel. The link will be given in the description box. Okay.